Hello and welcome to another video uh, with LessonRating.com. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you a um, uh, simple blues lick. Um, I always called it the honky tonk lick. That's how I learned it. And basically, it's um, this is how it sounds, or this is what you can do with it. So to give you just a sample of what you could do with that and what we'll try and figure out, it's something like this. Okay, so what were we doing there? Um, the main thing, I was just doing the same type of lick but in three different keys. So um, it consists of um, going like this with just the triad. So if we're just talking about C, think about just a C triad, but when you make it, slide off this E flat. So you can slide with um, going like that with your pointer finger, second finger, or you can just actually slide off it. I actually like to do that. I don't know if technically that's how you're supposed to do it, but it works for me. Um, so anyway, so that's your first one. And then you bring these two fingers, second and fourth finger, just up. So you've got F and A. So let's do that again. And then if you bring them up one more, then you've got G and B flat. So let's do that again. If you just put a C in the bass, and then if you walk the bass like I was doing just on 135, it can get a cool sound. And now what I did in uh, the example now we just do the exact same thing, but with the four chord, which is F in this in this case. And you can do the same thing. Root with your thumb, slide off that minor third to make the triad, and then just bring them up. So you're gonna bring this up to here. So A goes up to a B flat, C goes up to a D. And then you're going to bring it up one more time. B flat goes up to a C, D goes up to E flat. If you want to think of the intervallic relationships there, you're basically, each time you go up, the first time you're going up, with your second finger you're going up a half step, and your fourth finger you're going up a whole step. And then the next time you go up is just flip. Your second finger this time goes up a whole step, while your fourth finger goes up a half step. So. So you can really just play it. You don't always have to do it so straight like. I would recommend doing it that way at first till you get used to it, but then you can jump around with it. And now we need to go to the G. Same thing. Start with that triad, slide off the third, bring it up. Bring it up again. And you notice you can slide off this third and you can also slide on the top one. And you hear that a lot in blues, the... That's just doing that exact same thing. that's helpful that is again just playing around in the blues using that honky-tonk lick so again just learn the basics and then mess around with it sky's kind of the limit on what you can do with it so hopefully that was helpful